Welcome back. You're tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso only on SABC3 in the Expresso Kitchen. This time around with the lovely Zola oh. Nene. And it's all about oh, <laughs> pestos this morning. Yes, and you're going to show us three different ways with pesto. Yes. And pesto is a great ingredient to actually keep in your store covered or in your fridge uh -huh. because you can make so many things with it. Not only just pasta, Wait but a minute. Here so, so it's a store or fridge? Or like in well, the cupboard or the fridge? Before you open it in the cupboard, okay. after you open it in, the, in fridge. the fridge. And if you make it yourself, in the fridge. In the fridge. Okay, right, all clear. <laughs> okay, so the first way is to do some um, polenta. So, you yes. know, polenta is basically pop. So you could do the same with, you know, um, you know the white pop. This is just the yellow you version. Pop. Okay. okay. <laughs> so you make it as you would. So water, polenta, or pop, and then some salt. Okay. And then once it's cooked, so make sure you cook it for a while. Yes. What people um, do is cook it for a really short time, and that's when pop is really grainy, grainy and gritty, and yeah. people don't enjoy it. If you cook it long enough, it's delicious. Okay. So all you do to that is add some pesto all right. at the end. Oh, look at that. Like so. I love the fresh smell. Delicious pesto. Okay. Then stir it in. And then we're going to make polenta chips with this. So polenta sort of, chips. Yeah, so something different to have with your fish maybe or your chicken or whatever. Okay. So you stir look at that beautiful color. Oh, wow. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> then once you've cooked it and you've stirred in the pesto, all you do is pop it into a dish like this. Okay. Okay. And then flatten it out. So you're going to you're going to do a better job of mixing it than I did. I'm just rushing through it. No, it's fine. You're doing great. Right. You're doing great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, motivator. <laughs> okay, so then you leave it to set and it'll sit pretty pretty solid. Yes. Then you cut it into actual chips and then you griddle it. Put it in a griddle pan oh, look and look that. there. I thought this was bread. No, these are polenta chips. Are you chips. serious? I know. I they know. are really cool. I know. Okay. I know. okay. And then grill them quickly. And then just grill them in a griddle pan, brush them with some olive oil, grill them, eat them as a side, eat them as a snack, dip nice. them into more pesto. Wonderful. Okay. I like that. Okay, cool. Then, second thing is some pesto roast potatoes. We all love roast potatoes, but they sometimes get the same, same. Hey? Yeah, because you do, just do, do it too often. You, you do see? it too often, you do it the same way. So, yeah. why not jazz it up with a bit of pesto? So, these are just um, new potatoes roasted. Okay. Um, salt and pepper, olive oil, 200 degree oven, 45 minutes or 30 minutes, depending on how big your potatoes are. Yeah, add some tomatoes in the last 10 minutes, let those burnish up. And then we add some pesto at the end. I'm going to do a bit of the, the rough pesto and a bit of the smooth pesto for some variety. Oh, okay, just because and you can. Because you've just been standing around, I want you to mix. Okay, you know how fine. I like to put you to work. <laughs> so just toss that all together. You want me to, to, to toss I it all together? I want you to toss it, yeah. Oh, okay, like so that. it all coats all the potatoes. And how delicious would this be with some fish oh, or wow. some chicken breast, midweek dinner. Amazing. So okay. this is it. Nothing further. That's than this. it. What do you mean? You you sound disappointed. No, I mean it doesn't go back into the oven. No, no, no. This is it. This is it. The potatoes must be hot when you do it, so yes. that they sort of coat and and absorb some of the pesto flavor. Oh, as well. look at that. And then the last one is my favorite, corn on the cob, a la pesto. Okay. So first we've got some. Okay, so we're going to move on to the butter. Okay. What do this I do? What do I do? Okay. What do okay. I do? Careful. Soften butter. <laughs> a little bit of pesto. Okay. Um, boil or steam your mealies or your corn on the cob. Okay. Okay. And then while it's still hot. See, let me get one of these. Nice. Okay, you're going to brush that pesto butter onto the mealy, and you're going to see it melt and is be delicious. That's a hot mealy, huh? That's a hot mealy. All right, here it's we go. It's a hot mealy. Here we go. Can you see it's starting to melt? Yes. And then just brush it. Oh, oh yes. I think your family will love you for this. Wow. H how about this with, for a braai, hey? Uh, something different. Something That's why different. I like it. You can even do it on the fire and then add the pesto butter afterwards. Oh, Absolutely. Look at that. This is my favorite way. Awesome. Well, if you Amaze. want to get your hands on these recipes, I mean, three ways with pesto. Very easy. SMS the keyword dinner to 33728. That's dinner to 33728. And we'll uh, send you everything you need to know to make these beautiful, beautiful dishes using pesto to zhuzh up a oh, little yes. bit. Hey? Oh, yes. Just like, what if, you know, just... Oh. Ooh, mm. How adventurous of it. Opa Mili as most of buyer lacquer you can base for Ochen. Zola, very nice. Remember, culinary hotline is open with Zola coming up a little bit later on this morning. We're answering your culinary questions. If you have something that you would like to know, you can call us 083-91-33728. That is the magic number. And Zola will ask or answer any question you might have. Oh, yes. Are you Food ready for this? questions. Not any questions. Not personal questions. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stick around for that. 083-91-33728. Give us a call. Right now, that is, is uh, that time of the morning. Here's your news headlines.